Hey guys, so the first rule of defending is that it actually starts from the top. Today's video is about awareness and if you're doing this one thing, it will help your team a lot. This is basic tactical awareness and everyone should know about it. So let's look at the following situations. Okay, let's look at this situation. The keeper gets the ball and then decides to throw it long. But let's slow it down and now look at this forward. When he's walking backwards, he's always looking at the keeper, so he's aware, just in case there's a short ball to the right back. Let's watch again, but this time, let's look at the player here. Look at the way he is moving back. He's always looking at the keeper, he knows where the defenders are, and then Neuer decides to throw the long ball. Next situation, keeper throws the ball long. Slow that down. Look at the striker here. His eyes are always on the keeper, just in case he plays the short ball. Next situation, the keeper gets the ball and then he decides to play his right back. Okay, let's look at this player here. He looks at the keeper, good, but then he stops looking and his teammates go the other direction. And if you look here, number 14 is free in the middle and if he gets the ball, he's away. Okay, next situation, keeper picks up the ball and then he throws it long quickly to his left hand side. Let's look at this player. Thinks it's a handball, he complains to the ref for one second. He's not looking at the keeper, and then he's out of place and he has to work hard to get back. As you can see, it's so important to look at the keeper and see what he's going to do. Do not turn your back. A lot of players do turn their back, and it loses your team time and costs your team energy. Now what I also like to do is, as a forward, if I see the keeper, he might want to play short to his right back. I'll put my hand up and shout really loud that I've got the right back. This will put off the keeper and sometimes he won't play the short ball. And that will save me and my team a lot of energy from shutting down that defender. Now I understand there are some situations, say you're a defender, you went up for a corner kick uh, to try and score a goal then it's okay to run back quickly because you need to get back into your position. But if you're a more attacking player, it's so important to look at your keeper and see what he is doing. Also, if your team know that the ball is going to go long because the keeper has no options, then your team can prepare for the long ball and be ready for that second ball when your teammate first wins it. Okay guys, so this is the first step of defending. Over the next few weeks, I will give you more points and instructions on how to defend in football. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks again for watching. Until next time, ciao.